Welcome back to another video and today I will be showing my recommendations for summer eyeshadow palettes. So today we are doing another seasonal palette recommendation video. So obviously as we, are no we have now come to the month of June we are doing the summer eyeshadow palette recommendations and uh, today I think we will be again doing it so that we will be filming it all in the same sort of one ago because there is collectively I think not so many palettes to put this in sort of parts and uh, in this one we have one high-end recommendation a uh, couple of drugstore ones and then the, all the others like most of the palettes in this video will be in the eyeshadow palettes but let's now get to the palettes themselves so I did move myself a bit to the side uh, so let's actually now get the show on the road and let's start with the only high-end palette that I have for this one and uh, as it seems to be, I do have a habit of including uh, Pat McGrath, one Pat McGrath palette for each seasonal video, though I do think, when well, now I'm thinking that maybe for the fall time we don't have one, but for the summer we do. So for the summer I would recommend uh, the Pat McGrath Mothership 2. So this is the Divine Rose 2 palette and this is in the sort of uh, special edition rose gold packaging which I do think this is one of the better packaging that McGrath has done for these uh, sort of uh, mothership palettes. Uh, obviously I think why this is included in the sort of summer palette uh, sort of video is that this is a very warm, warm hot pink gold heavy palette so if especially summer eyeshadow palette means to you something very hot pink warm toned has a bit of a peach to it because there is this one uh, blending out shade in the here and especially these sort of very bright golden shades then this is something that I would recommend from the brand. Uh, it has the sort of traditional baked uh, 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 blist astral shades that she no longer does. does. So these four shades here are, sir, are her sort of traditional baked uh, special shade formula that unfortunately I don't think her newer palettes no longer have but this one still has them. With the motherships, as I've always said, uh, wait from what Pat McGrath, she constantly runs sales, so wait for a sale and then grab this one if this is something that you're interested in. Then let's get to some drugstore options. So first is a palette that unfortunately I don't think you're able to buy anymore. So this is the Catrice uh, Slim Pro, Pro Blushing Oceans palette and uh, this was the, I think this was the last palette in this particular series because now they have redone this and the series has another name and now they have this sort of see-through window in the packaging which I'm also not a huge fan of. But this is again how this package lo uh, palette looks like and I think what this particularly uh, why I associate this with summer is that it has this sort of quite deep reddish tones but they are more still sort of I'd say on the how do I describe them? They are more still, I think, on the like uh, sort of bright red side instead of being maybe something that you would maybe wear on the fall, like fall time. So they aren't brownish reds, they are still, I think, more brighter reds. And something that I do find that I do think that it has so here is uh, this shade over here is this sort of um, pink. A uh, reddish pinkish shade that has a bit of a gold, gold and peach to, peachy flips to it and then this one particular uh, I think this has been one of the more impressive like uh, drugstore shimmer shades that Catrice has ever put. So it's this very like bright uh, turquoisey shade that brings quite nice twist to this. So if you have this in your drawers or you're able to like spot this on sale on some store that sells Catrice, I would recommend this from the brand because I do think this is better quality that they have produced. Then uh, something maybe a bit more on the traditional bronzy golden side from the drugstore. So um, if you want a recommendation of more of these sort of traditional bronzy golden palettes, because those are very in the summer, at least based on the onslaught of palettes that we have seen like coming up. Uh, but uh, if you want sort of see a separate recommendation video for those palettes, I do have it in my sort of an, uh, I think it's called like a makeup favorites playlist or something. But um, from that video, uh, if you're looking for something like drugstore and this sort of traditional summer bronze palette, this Kiko Milano, this is the 02 in their Glamour Multi Finish Eyeshadow Palette series. This does have a name, it sunset something, but Kiko doesn't put the palette names in the palette, palettes themselves, but on online you're able to see it. Uh, I have mentioned when I have discussed this palette that in my palette review video that I have included this in that you really have to like your bronzy orange look if you wear this. You don't get a super lot of diversity with this one. However, I do say that there is like a nice amount of depth that you're able to like uh, do with this one because it has the sort of black and a 
brownish shades in here but this is if you're looking for this very small easy to travel with a uh, bronzy uh, orangey palette then this I think is a good option and Kiko especially if you live in Europe is a good generally a good uh, brand to buy from because their eyeshadow quality is very nice it is quite friendly to different kind of makeup styles to work with and uh, as I said the price are quite decent then let's get to the indie palettes so first one is another uh, golden bronzy palette and this is actually a relatively new one and I have just uh, finished trying this out in my two week rotation so this is the gloss cards let's get new palette and uh, this is a very, I'd say that if you want to buy a bronzy eyeshadow palette from an indie brand, this is a good option. You don't get a lo super lot of diversity with this one. Uh, so in some of the promo images Close Cards did with this one, it's kind of looked in some of the images that there were maybe some rose gold tones in this one, but no. Uh, especially on my skin tone, I have said that the two sort of purple shades, so this one and this one over here, these two, they do will look like quite a dark brown on me so the looks that I have come out with this one and some the looks that you will be seeing in an eyeshadow palette review well I when I will be able to do that one is that a lot of the looks are quite similar something I was kind of disappointed actually in maybe with this one was that this golden hour shade uh, which is the sort of shifty white looking shade in here this also has a very strong golden shift to it so actually when you have this on the lid it doesn't look very much different from especially if because it has also the palette has this sort of golden golden shades over here so actually when you get it to the eye it kind of also again maybe uh, creates a bit similar looks but if you really like your bronzy golden looks and you want to want an indie brand option the gloss guard palette especially if you live in europe this is still a good recommendation just be aware that maybe just like with the kiko palette you aren't gonna get like super many looks with this one then maybe something, I think the rest of these are quite on the colorful side, so something uh, other from Gloss Card, and this was also a summer release from them last year. So this is the Lavender Skies palette, and mine is unfortunately broken because I had this and the sort of blue, blue duochrome palette that I released alongside with this one. It was dancing in the... Was it dancing in the rain or something else? But anyway, unfortunately, bo both of the palettes came out with the broken shades, but I did get a refund from them, so that was all, all right, and the customer service handled it quite well. Uh, I especially wanted to include with this one, uh, don't let the red and the yellow shades in this fool you. You will mostly get purple looks with this one, but why I wanted to include this in the video is that especially if you like your sort of bright lavender purple looks during summertime, this is a good so in summertime, and how I usually differentiate between colorful summer and spring palettes on spring times, I like the more sort of pastel leaning and maybe more earthy toned colorful shades. But on summer, I want this sort of very punchy, uh, even almost like primary color shades, even though primary color shades aren't my like first preference. So this is something uh, fitting to the sort of summer team that if you want something very punchy, lilac purple, then this is a very good option. And again, these sort of duo, uh, duo chrome shades that are in this one, they do have quite nice flips. However, most of them are flipped to something to purple. So again, not a super lot of variety, but still a very nice, nice summer palette recommendation. So something that uh, I will say that you will get some <laughs> diversity. So this is the Hella palette. So this is the second uh, collaboration Angelica Newquist did with Odensai. And uh, this is the little ghost palette. So before anyone goes off in the comments, yes, I know this is Halloween palette. However, Halloween is a celebration that's not celebrated in my country. And when I got this last year, I already knew that I will probably use this more during the summer time. And why I will, why this is a more summer palette to me is because again, this has more sort of a primary toned leaning, very colorful shades. We have something fun. There is this sort of very nice acid yellow over here. But essentially these are very like, I'd say, more primary tone leaning colorful shades. Uh, the uh, looks that I have come out with this one are all quite colorful. So if you like your neutrals, this definitely isn't the palette for you. But I do appreciate that the, all the shades are very easy to work with. And this is the sort of good Odin type quality. And there is like a couple of uh, ways you can go with this one. You can get a blue look, you can get kind of a yellow look, you can get kind of a reddish look with this one. So you have some options. And if you are a person who likes your bright colorful looks for the summer, then I would uh, still 
this is something I would recommend. I'm not too sure are these still available because I do know these were limited edition palettes, but uh, these were available quite a, for a long time. But um, I won't guarantee that are these still available on Own and Size website. But uh, if you have this and you have thought that that's only something you would use in fall during the Halloween, if it's a celebration that you have, uh, maybe dig this out. Dig this out also during the summer because this does create some nice summer looks. So uh, then a palette that I had a bit of a mixed feelings about, but is, it is definitely, I'd say, uh, if I would have to like categorize it for seasonal <laughs> use, it is definitely a summer thing. So this is a Culinary Tricks uh, Cosmetics and this is the Rich Romantic palette. Uh, I have said that my biggest issue unfortunately with this one was that all the shimmer shades crease and they didn't just crease a little bit just like me with maybe some in the shimmers a lot of them creased quite badly but uh, I will be giving this a second try this summer however if you're someone who has not had the, this kind of issue with laminatrix shadow in general or if you're someone who generally don't doesn't have a creasing issue with your eyeshadow because uh, especially as someone who like me who has a oil, oil, more oily leading skin type, it is an issue that I do experience with some formulas. But if you don't usually suffer from like um, uh, shadows creasing, I would like recommend this one because this is especially if you like this sort of more warm toned uh, pinkish purple, maybe a bit more even peachy. This is a perfect palette for the summer. Also, something fun is that a lot of the duochromes that this has, they do shift a bit to the green. So you kind of get this sort of like almost like a summer flower theme where you have a lot of warm colors and then you have a bit of like green mixed in with the shift that some of these sort of duochromes have and uh, it is still like a very beautiful palette and uh, that is why I do want to give this like a second try in my rotation to see that is it like is it so that I am just like unable to use it because of the how the shimmer shadows crease but if you don't suffer from creasing and if Columbinatrix shadows in the past have worked for you this is a definite like summer recommendation based on just the sort of very warm toned pinkish uh, purple linen color story that this has. And then to the last one. So this is the from I'd say from my favorite favorite indie brand in terms of colorful mattes. So this is from Cosmic Brushes or I do think they are now known as Cosmic Beauty and this is their Royal Rose palette. This is one of their original palettes. Uh, I do believe they what did they do with this one? I think they discontinued this at one point, then they did bring it back moment bring it back momentarily, but I don't remember that is this still something that they are keeping in stock. And again, why I would recommend this to the summer is that this again has a, a lot of these sort of more punchy primary color type of uh, sort of uh, uh, colorful shades. What's also quite nice about this one is that we do get like, there are some more muted uh, shades and neutral leaning shades in here. Uh, but this is a very summer palette in terms of the fact that it has a lot of like, again, a bit more warmer leaning shimmers, bit, uh, sorry, like colorful shades. Uh, there are like, uh, generally, I think that, uh, some also very fun punchy, like this sort of blue here, the yellow here. And this sort of very punchy also, the uh, uh, shade Valentine here. So again, not pastel leaning or muted colors, but more sort of like in your face, very punchy colors. So perfect for someone, again, a color lover who uh, likes their uh, colorful shades during summer. Uh, something that I have always said, this uh, one uh, shimmer shade, this Royal Rose here, this unfortunately is a bit of a dot shade in this palette, but I do I haven't seen this formula in Cosmic Brushes uh, palettes ever since, so I think there was a good reason why they sort of don't do this formula. But all the other shimmer shades, this has very beautiful, even though this was their sort of original bigger palette they had, uh, the formula is still very on par with the later palettes that I have bought from them, and this is uh, something that I do gravitate towards during the summer time. So those were all my summer palette recommendations. I would very much like to, of course, hear what kind of palettes do you like to use during the summer and what are some of your favorites included in this video. If you like this video, then push the like button, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell button if you want to get notifications for my future content. You can also find me with the same nickname, Makeup Hedgehog on Instagram. I hope I will be seeing you in another video soon. Bye bye.